This is Anna Cox, and this is another one of our Compassion Works for All videos. And today we're having a visit with our friend Pete. And Pete, as you can tell, is a very happy puppy. He actually sees some treats that I have up there on the fireplace, and he's thinking, I wonder how I can get up there to those treats. I want to tell you a story about Pete. And at some points, the story is pretty frightening when we think of what could have happened to Pete if it had not been for our friend Claire. Claire is a young friend who's about 12 years old and one day she went for a hike with her grandmother and as they finished the hike along the river they came to a place that used to be a dog pound but it had been abandoned many many months ago and as they walked by Claire said, I think there's a dog there in a crate. And her grandmother said, well, let's go see. And they walked up to the door of the building that certainly looked empty, and somebody had left Pete in a dog crate without any food on a cold day and had left him there probably thinking that somebody would come along because it used to be an animal control place. But lo and behold, if nobody had come along, we're following Pete now, we'll find him in a second. If nobody had come along, can you imagine what would have happened to Pete? He would have been left in the cold without food probably for days before anybody would have come along to find him. Here, Pete, we're going to find you and finish your story. But Claire said to her grandmother, we have to bring him home. Well, he was all matted and he was starving and he was dirty and he was smelly. But thank goodness for Claire's beautiful heart and her caring about Pete, even though she didn't even know him, and she said to her grandmother, we have to bring him home. And her grandmother is a loving, kind person. Here goes Pete again. And she agreed. So they took Pete home, and they washed him. They took him to the vet and they made sure that he was healthy and then they started getting him stronger and you know for a while Pete was very very frightened and he'd hide under the bed and at the house there were two other dogs and those other dogs were a little leery of having Pete joined them at their house, but little by little, Pete became used to living inside a house. He started to trust the other dogs, and he started to enjoy being around people and being around Claire. Claire saved Pete's life. And she didn't have to do it. 
she made an on-the-spot decision because her heart said, I have to make sure this dog is okay. And she did what felt right to her. She had an inspiration. Thank goodness she had a grandmother who would listen to her and respect her doing what she felt was right. And together, they have become Pete's very best friends. I tell you this story because you know, even though it might not be a life-saving decision where someone is in a crate and is going to starve to death or freeze to death, there are people and animals around us everywhere that need us to listen when our heart says, I have to help this person or this animal. It is very important for that person, even if they're not about to die, but to know that somebody out there cares enough for them to want to help and to do what they can. So the next time your heart says, I have to help, I want you to remember Pete. And our video today where we followed Pete round and round and round the table in the library. But remember how happy his life is today. And he could have been dead. So listen to your heart and know that your heart will always tell you to do the right thing. So Pete, say goodbye to our friends, and hopefully you will come back and see more videos with Pete and some of our other Compassion Works for All videos. And thank you for watching and being with us. Goodbye, Pete.